Hi, I am Roxana from VP State, and in this video I will continue with how to manage property categories videos. In this video you will learn how to manage each property category and the particularities of each category type. I will start with categories type. Here you can add categories to reflect the property category like apartment or house. This is how we built it in our demos, but you can use it for the purpose that you need. This section will allow using child categories. I will show how to add a child. I will do it for the category that I previously edited. Here you need to add the name of the new child category. Select the parent. Press add new property category. Here you will see the new category as child. The child will show in search drop-down and in submission form. These steps for adding a child category will apply for all property categories. Next, you will have type that can be used to add the action of the property like for sale, for rent, Next, we have city, neighborhood, and state. These three categories can be connected to each other. I will show how to create these connections. I will show this by editing existing categories. From neighborhood, when you add a new neighborhood, in this instance, I will edit this one. Here, you will need to select the city that the area is assigned to. Next. When the city is added, you will need to select which county state has this city. Now, in search, when you select New Jersey state, in cities you will have only Jersey city, and in area you will have the areas assigned to Jersey city. The same connection can be seen in submission form as well, only when drop-downs are used. I will show. If you select New Jersey, in cities you will have only the cities assigned to the state, and in area, only the areas assigned to the city. Going back to search drop-downs, you have the option to display only the categories that have properties assigned or display all categories. This can be managed from team options, search, advanced search display. This is the option that you need to change. Show property categories with zero properties in advanced search and property list filters. If you set it to yes, then all categories will show. If set to no, only the categories that have properties assigned will be displayed. Back to property categories, we have features and amenities. They are used to display on property pages as much specific details about the properties. They will show here. They can be grouped and you can add SVG icons. You can check our video tutorial on how to manage features and amenities to see all details on this property category. The last property category is the status. The property status will be visible in property units and in some sliders in property page. This wraps our video on property categories. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notification on new videos.